Thanks. You guys ready? All right. So hi. My name's Sasha. And I'm from here. I'm actually more like here. I'm actually more like here. And on June 19th, we were asked to affect a billion people. Mm, that's a lot. <laughs> so we listened to a lot of smart people and took lots of notes. And on June 24th, we were struck with a beautiful piece of symmetry. One billion people don't have access to clean, potable water. Meet Cesar. He's from here. Mm, actually more like here. Mm, actually more like here. He's part of the billion, but he's also a VIP. He's an exclusive member of this club. He's also a member of this club. And to put that into context, every time you use one of these, that's his daily water supply. He tends to get his water from these kind of guys who steal it from this guy and get some pretty good prices. So it's great. We know Cesar and we know he needs water, so let's do that a billion times. Because we got lots of the blue stuff, right? Nah, I can't use most of it. And the stuff that we do use, we don't tend to use really well. And when we do use it, we don't really do it evenly. So that's a bit of a problem. But what's worse is we're running out. So in reality, we all may be out. Meet AJ. He's from here. Mm, actually, more like here. Actually, more like here. He's also a VIP. And yep, member of this club as well. Yep, just now. So AJ got a new brother the other day. But he's blind. And so are 20 other children nearby. They think it's arsenic. Which got me thinking, what's in our water? So me and some friends went down to the wastewater treatment plant just in the local area, and uh, we found a bunch of these floating in there. L.A. has got a lot of these. <laughs> San Francisco has lots of these. <laughs> it's true. But we're not, quite, we're not quite sure what's in ours. And this was troubling. Because suddenly, that symmetry that we thought we'd found earlier on wasn't so symmetrical, because Cesar's problems weren't necessarily AJ's problems, which weren't necessarily mine. And we all need clone, clean water. Seriously. <laughs> but a wise man once said, when paralyzed by two big problems, take both. <laughs> so we did. Introducing three new companies, H2020, Sensoria, and Nashio. The collective aim is to move us from a state of water risk, water ignorance, and water poverty to water purity, knowledge, and abundance. To take us from water risk to water purity, introducing Sensoria, a bio-enabled water solution that aims to detect and resolve major water contaminants. Back in the 1800s, in the coal mining days, they used to take these little birds down with them because of the risks associated with methane. A little bird would tweet when everything was good. No singing, not so good. Time to get out of the mine. So using this insight, we applied this to the biosensor market. The approach is primarily taking the, the pathways in your body and externalizing those into a sensor bed. So that all you need to do is take that sensor bed dunk it in some water, and it'll tell you how that water is going to interact with various parts of your body. You see five black, black nodes pop up, you got some problems with your liver. You get some yellow ones pop up, something's interacting with your brain. It's a human-focused sensing solution, not a contaminant one. So it can help tell us not only what we know is in our water, but it also helps us understand what we don't know is in our water. And when we have that information and we apply it to a global information system, we can try to help those countries who don't necessarily have the legal power in which to legislate clean water. The long-term future for this is to try to get to a state of having robotic and AI um, fish swimming in water and immediately sensing and remediating those pollutants. To help us move from water ignorance to water knowledge, introducing H2020, an intelligent web ecosystem that seeks to alleviate water poverty. 
five key problems and challenges that H2020 is looking to address. Insufficient information about the problem space, like the one we heard earlier. The diverse range of problems in terms of understanding the full picture. The lack of collaboration that exists when you have somebody trying to solve a problem without the key stakeholders involved. The lack of coordination and decision making in terms of pushing that through and seeing that project continue over time and then finally addressing those barriers to scale. And how do you take those best practices that you identify in one country and apply them to others? By digitizing information and analyzing it, we can connect the information technologies and actors together in which to facilitate key decisions and collaboration to innovate and solve these problems. And through a simple web interface, we can connect people in Nueva Florida, Peru, with maybe a professor in San Diego who may have a, pro may have a solution. The long-term aim for H2020 is to reach a state of water omniscience, so we fully understand the global water picture. Finally, to move us from a state of water poverty to water abundance, we introduce to you NACIO, providing low-cost, environmentally sustainable desalinization solutions. We've got this problem, the 97.5% of all, all the Earth's water being salt water. By combining three key exponentially growing technologies, specifically nanotech, synthetic biology, solar energy, NACIO aims, leverages gravity and sea forces um, to push water through a membrane down here that's a combination of a nanofilter and synthetic biology down through this channel into a well with fresh water. And using solar technology, we can pump that water to points of consumption. And with 50% of the population living within 100 kilometers of seas, this is a very novel solution. The long-term aim for NACIO is to eventually reach a state of free desalinization. So here we are. There's me, there's you, there's us. But there's also Cesar and AJ. And we collectively have some math problems to solve. And it's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> I love nerd jokes, they're great. <laughs> it's how do we make sure that this never happens? How do we make sure that that 1 billion never comes close to 6.9 billion? But more importantly, how do we turn that 1 billion into zero? And on behalf of my team, I thank you. <laughs>